What's up guys? So we're back with another install video and like the title says we're going a little lower on the 04 regular cab Silverado. So if you did see a couple videos ago I took out the factory 4x4 2 inch blocks out of the back. It would be right there under the leaf spring. Yes this truck is a four wheel drive. So we took the four wheel drive 2 inch blocks out and I found out at the same time that the front torsion keys were cranked all the way up from the previous owner so I did lower those down a little bit and I did mess with it again after I got the front fender flares on there so right now I have the wheel gap pretty much exactly the same front to back and right now I have about 36 and 3 quarter from the floor to the fender in the back and about a quarter inch lower in the front tried to match them up as good as I could but the left side is a little bit lower than the right but right around 36 and 3 quarter to the fender 36 and a half so I decided to go with the McGoy's lowering shackles So these are their one or two inch lowering shackles. As you see, there's two different holes. So the top hole will do two inches and this hole will do one inch. So we're gonna start out with the one inch and then all I'll have to do is just lower the front torsion keys a little bit more. I have plenty of adjustment to go down another inch. So we're gonna start with that. If I ever do wanna go lower, I can move the shackles to the two inch hole and get some different lowering keys or something else to figure out the front. So we're going to start with the one inch. So we'll move it over to the shop now and get started. Before I start working on the shackles, I just want to get outside and get a little sneak peek at what it all looks like, everything I've done so far this winter. First time out in the daylight, so it's a little windy out there, that's why I'm saying this in here. So I'll get out there and show a little bit, see what it looks like before I do the one inch lowering shackles. Got the frame supported with jack stands up there and then the floor jack under the rear differential just to support it. And here's the factory shackle. And we're gonna take the bottom bolt out first and then lift it up. Hopefully slide the top bolt out. We might have to undo the bed to get it to go by, but we'll see.
Well, that didn't go as planned. It's the next day. The farthest I got is getting the four nuts off of the bolts. And you saw me take that one bolt out, and that's as far as I got. The other three bolts are welded in with rust, so they're not coming out anytime soon. I think one of the only ways to really do it is take the bed off, get a sledgehammer on them. I'm not really ready to take the bed off yet because it's going to make me want to clean and paint the frame. I really don't have time for that right now. So the lowering shackles, you're going to have to wait. Did get some new bolts. Like I thought maybe I could cut the bolts, just use new bolts, but the top two go through a bushing and the leaf spring. So those will have to come out no matter what. So we'll have to wait on the lowering shackles. So I'm just going to put it back together, get it outside, do another little walk around, go over all the other stuff that I did this winter. So. All right, so the drop shackle install was a failure, but I figured since I had it out, I'll just give you one last look at it here. First time seeing daylight. I like the stance but I just wanted to go a little bit lower. Looks like that's not gonna happen for a while at least. go over quickly a few of the things I did this winter. Repainted the tailgate, got brand new OEM mirrors, repainted the caps, painted fender flares all the way around, brand new OEM tail lights. Also while I was at it I took the third brake light off and polished it up. Also this little molding right here, found out they're just double sided taped on. It was always sticking away from the truck. If anybody's ever wondering about that, they're just double-sided taped on, so you can take that off, put new tape on it, stick it down. thing I was thinking about the Z71 sticker. Let me know if you think you should keep the Z71 sticker, go no sticker, or put like a new style 4x4 sticker on it. So let me know about that. I like the Z71 sticker, but it's not a true Z71. Give a little update on the interior. See what the shifter looks like in the daylight. MGW flat stick. Still looking good. So I guess that's it for this video. Failure on the drop shackles, but I think I'm gonna just give it a little wash now. Try to get rid of that WD-40 I sprayed all over the back. I'm trying to get those bolts out, so it's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think about the stance. I think I should try harder to get the drop shackles installed. I really would like to, but I'm gonna have to figure something out. So thanks for watching.